In this video, I'm going to talk you through how you can add a product in JVZoo. Okay, log into JVZoo and go to the Sellers dashboard and you can see nice big orange button here that says add a product, it's free. Click on that. It takes you through to this page and there is um, a video on this page which goes into quite a lot of detail about how you set this up but I'll just run through it really quickly. Now first box here is your basic information and you can check the radio buttons here for whether or not to allow sales. If you check no then your product will not be available for sale and this means that actually you can work on setting all this up without your product being live. So you can go through and tweak it and change it before you actually allow sales. Uh, whether you want it shown in the marketplace, yes or no, um, it's a good idea to have it in the marketplace because then that allows you to recruit lots of affiliates to sell the product for you. And you have the launch date and time and you can set this as far in advance as you like really. And it's a good idea to set your launch date at a time in the future because that gives you time to recruit affiliates and to do your pre-launch and everything like that. It's always set in Eastern Standard Time for the United States. So you'd need to work out what your local time would be if you're outside the US. And as it says, the product would not be visible in the marketplace until this time. Then you enter your product name in here and the currency that you're going to sell it in. By default it's set as the US dollar and it's best to leave it at that setting. The US dollar is of course the currency of international commerce but if you're launching a product for a particularly local audience then there are other currencies that you can choose from. You can have the Australian dollar or the euro, Japanese yen or pound sterling. Then you enter your product price and this is the maximum price if it's going to be on a dime sale and I'll explain about dime sales in a moment and if it's a recurring payment then you would enter in the recurring payment in here. Then you would enter your commission payout percentage that's the amount that you're going to pay your affiliates and if it's a subscription or it's a multiple payment then you would check that box and this opens another window with some further options. Then you've got the quantity. Now for most digital products you'll want to leave this empty because after all digital products are unlimited. However if you are say having a membership site or a coaching program where you want to limit the number of participants then you could enter that information in there. Next box is the support email address and this is the email address that people can use to contact you if they have any problems or if you have a help desk you would enter the URL in there so that people can contact your help desk. Then you have your landing page also known as sales funnel squeeze page or pre-launch and this is the page that you will want to send traffic to before your product gets launched and you can use this to build up an early bird list so people can go there sign up and get information and you can notify them about when the product goes live you can use it to recruit affiliates and so on. One thing that you also want to do is to check this button yes to send all traffic to the sales page after the launch date and time so Basically, before your product goes on sale, all the traffic will go to here and then afterwards it'll go down to your sales page. And this can be either an externally hosted page or it can be a JVZoo instant sales page. Most people will use an external sales page URL which is basically the sales page on your website. There is a video about JVZoo instant sales pages actually on the JVZoo website so I'm not going to go into that in this video. Pass the affiliate ID to your sales page. If you have uh, your sales page set up that way uh, then you can use it to pass that information on. Generally you want to keep that checked and no. 
WF Backup Sales Page URL. This is an alternative URL where sales could be sent if the Warrior Forum goes down. Then you've got the delivery method and you can have either a protected download or a thank you page. It's a good idea to have a protected download because that means that JVZoo will actually host your product for you. And if you've got something like, say, a video product that's going to take up a lot of bandwidth, then it's a good idea to avail yourself of this service. Then we have the return period and you can set the number of days. As a rule of thumb, the longer you set this, the less likely you are to get returns. Uh, you can check this box to make it eligible for a product of the day and it's a good idea to do that because then you can uh, enter it into this contest and if it's picked as product of the day then they will tell a lot of uh, affiliates and people about your product so it's a good idea to check that. Then we've got the affiliate approval and you can either have manual approval, auto approve or no affiliates allowed. Uh, they recommend that you set it to manual approval and that's a good idea and it's best to leave it at this default setting because that stops you from being scammed really. Then you have your affiliate terms and requirements and notes to affiliates and your custom receipt info and this is all fairly self-explanatory and um, it's HTML enabled and what you can do is write everything out in your word processor and then copy and paste it in here. When you archive a product, you actually delete it, so it's best to keep that as no as long as your product is on sale. A couple of other things that I'll just show you over on the other side here. Um, first of all here is make a dime sale. Uh, there is a video about dime sales, but uh, I'll just explain it very quickly. Basically, you start off with a start price and you can increase it by a certain amount every so often. So let's say you start with uh, a start price of say $9.99 and you increase it by 10 cents every 10 sales then it will keep increasing by 10 cents every 10 sales up until you get to this maximum price. So that's how it works. Uh, you've also got things here like autoresponder integration. Uh, you can integrate your get response or SendReach or Aweber accounts in with this and uh, also webinar integration and so on. Now once you've got everything set up you can click on this button here to save product and you can basically get the ball rolling. Uh, your product won't actually show until your launch date and time but after that you'll be able to start driving traffic and making sales. Be sure to check the yes radio button once your product is ready to go live. And just another thing to mention here, and although JVZoo say that this is free, it, it is sort of because they don't charge you anything up front, but they do take a 5% commission out of every sale. So there you go, that's how you can add a product in JVZoo.